वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल मैजिक मैकेनिकल लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कसिंग विद द डिफरेंट गैस लोस सो इट इंक्लूड्स बॉयल्स लो चार्ल्स लो कंबाइंड गैस लो एंड एक्सेट्रा सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द डिफरेंट गैस लो सम ऑफ द टर्मिनोलॉजीज और डिफरेंस बिटवीन वेपर गैस एंड परफेक्ट गैस सो स्टार्टिंग विद द वेपर it can be defined as the state of the substance in which the evaporation from its liquid state is not completed so always a vapor consists of mixture of the pure gases form and liquid particles in a suspension so example is like a steam contains water particles with the changes in the temperature and pressure a vapor can undergo condensation or evaporation vapor may be in three conditions wet dry and super heated so super heated vapor behaves like a perfect gas so you can say it will be not having a uh, any kind of moisture is present into the gas so it will be behaving like perfect gas so gas means it is the state of substance in which the evaporation from the liquid state is complete within the limits of the temperature and pressure in the thermodynamics the substance like oxygen hydrogen air nitrogen are taken as a gases a perfect gas it is a very important term into the thermodynamics a gas which strictly obeys all the gas laws under all the conditions of the temperature and pressure is called as a perfect gas so there is no gas which is perfect but many gases like oxygen nitrogen hydrogen and air tend to behave like a perfect gases they are known as a real gases so starting with the gas laws first boyle's law so this law was discovered by robert boyle in 1662 let's see some of the pressure and volume so st here starting from the state 1 to state 2 which will be representing that path that will be your constant temperature process so in which if it will be changing of the pressure from p1 position to p2 that means increasing the pressure from p1 to p2 you can see on to the pv diagram volume is decreasing from v1 to v2 that means what according to the boyle's law the volume of a given mass of a perfect gas varies inversely as the absolute pressure when the temperature remains constant or you can say in a different way at constant temperature volume of a given mass is inversely proportional to the pressure so let's see volume is inversely proportional to the pressure that means pv equal to constants and it will be representing from 1 to 2 constant temperature process so let's see some of the examples of the boyle's law here so at constant temperature 298 kelvin centigrade temperature container it will be filling by the gas and it will be covered by the movable pistons at initial position p1 equal to 2 bar pressure and it will be having a volume v1 10 liter by increasing the volume from p1 2 bar to p2 5 bar it will be decreasing the volume up to 4 liters once again pressure is reducing from p2 5 bar to 2.5 bar once again volume it will be increasing so look and see volume is inversely proportional to the pressure so pv equal to constant where p absolute pressure of gas in pascal v volume occupied by the gas in meter cube 
c constant of the proportionality so let the quantity of the gas at the pressure p1 and volume v1 changes its pressure and volume in the cylinder without changing in temperature so let p2 and v2 be the final pressure and the volume respectively so let's see according to the boyle's law p1 v1 that will be equal to p2 v2 equal to constant so p1 v1 equal to p2 v2 above equation is used for working relation of the boyle's law second law charles law so this law was discovered by the charles in 1787 so if the pressure of the given mass of a gas is kept constant then volume of gas varies directly in proportional to its absolute temperature so let's see once again for the charles law pv diagram here in the case of charles law constant pressure process so at constant pressure volume is directly inversely proportional to the temperature so let's see volume proportional directly proportional to the temperature so v equal to constant into temperature where v equal to volume occupied by the given mass of the gas in meter cube t absolute temperature of the gas in degree kelvin and c constant of the proportionality so v by t equal to constant so state number 1 to state number 2 or you can say the point number 1 having p1 and v1 and t1 and point number 2 p2 v2 and t2 but p1 equal to p2 so let's see v1 by t1 equal to v2 by t2 equal to constant where v1 and t1 is the initial conditions and v2 and t2 is the final condition so finally v1 upon v2 equal to t1 upon t2 equal to constant laws of perfect gas and it is very important galeusek law so when a perfect gas is heated at constant volume the absolute pressure of given mass of a gas varies directly with the absolute temperature so let's see pressure is directly proportional to the temperature at constant volume process or you can say in different way p by t equal to constant or for the different points p1 upon t1 equal to p2 upon t2 equal to p3 upon t3 equal to constant so you can see in simple way that will be your constant volume process and that will be representing as a galeusek law important law and that will be your combined gas law so in practice pressure volume and temperature of a gas changes at the same time now it will be the combination law of the boyle's and charles said the pressure changes charles law cannot be applied and as the temperature changes boyle's law cannot be applied by the combining these two laws the final condition of the gas can be determined so just you can see let us considering a m kg of mass of a perfect gas to change its state in the following two successive processes so here you can see three processes 1.22 point and 2.23 point points so p1 to p2 it will be representing over here as a constant pressure process and point number 2 to point number 3 that will be representing as a constant temperature process so initially it will be charles law and then it will be followed by the boyle's law 
so process 1 to 2 at a constant pressure and process 2 to 3 at constant temperature process so p1 equal to p2 and at constant temperature process t2 equal to t3 so starting with the process 1 to 2 or you can say the constant pressure process by applying the Charles law v1 upon t1 equal to v2 upon t2 at constant pressure and since t2 equal to t3 we may write this so v1 upon t1 equal to v2 upon t3 that will be representing as a main equation a second process 2 to 3 at constant temperature process so applying the Boyle's law p2 equal to v2 p3 equal to v3 where p1 equal to p2 so p1 v2 equal to p3 v3 so you can get v2 equal to p3 v3 upon p1 substituting the value of v2 so v1 upon t1 that is equal to p3 v3 upon p1 t3 so it will be the modified p1 v1 upon t1 and p3 v3 upon t3 so in combined gas law in simple way p v upon t equal to constant so the magnetic of these constants depends upon the particular gas and it is denoted by the capital R so where capital R is called as a characteristics gas constant for mkg of mass P V upon T equal to M into R so P V is equal to M R T is called as a state of a perfect gas so p into v by m that will be equal to r into temperature t so just you can see v by m that will be called as a specific volume in the meter cube per kg so P V equal to R T. So thank you very much. If you like this, so subscribe, like and share. Mechanical magic and mechanical learning tutorials. Thank you.